Tim, first of all, uh, belated birthday wishes. And, oh, cheers. Thank and you. secondly, <laughs> are you feeling better after, after missing the last game? Yeah, yeah, I am. I felt, I, I felt dog rough. Um, I was struggling. Um, I had a COVID test up there at, um, locally. Uh, but I was all right. Yeah, I'm missing them. I'm a lot better now, so uh, thanks very much for that. Uh, listen, we've been in training since then. Um, we obviously, with, um, with the game being cancelled on Saturday uh, against Halifax, we, we um, trained. Um, we we found a surface at the back there, uh, behind the stand, and, and, and did some work. And then we've been in for a, you know for a four weeks prep. So um, obviously we've got now the Thursday and Friday into into the Soil game. Is that the one positive, I guess, of obviously Sutton was off quite a while ago because of their FA Trophy commitments, and Tuesday being off, mm. we've had a bit more time on the training ground to for you to implement some more ideas. Well, listen, I think I've been here a while now, so I think they've got an idea of what I'm after. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think there's any doubt about that. I don't think anyone can hide behind the fact that, we, you know, not, there's no knowledge of what we're after. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, my teams have liked to, liked to get up against people, turn people around, um, you know, try and play high up the pitch. And, uh, you know, sometimes there's a group of lads that aren't probably used to that style of play or it's a different style to them. Um, having said that, it's not black and white. You know, you are you are allowed to play. You know, I'd, uh, you know, in, in, in teams that I've managed in the past, you know, people have got license to play higher up the pitch. I'm not going to tell good players, you know, you've got to do X, Y, and Z in the final third. That's where you've got to make it happen. But how you get there is up to you. Um, you know, and if you've got a, a group where you know you can cut your cloth to get there through the thirds, then fine. If you if you've got a, a different sort of personnel, then get up there a different way it, you know football will never change it's not rocket science um it's 11 v 11 and uh, at right now we we need to find a formula to try and get some points on the board because it, you know it's becoming even more apparent now with us not playing you know that the, the, there's a gap there and we need to start getting some results looking back to the order shot game both boxes sort of was our undoing again because we got ourselves ahead of a, a really good goal and yeah. then we create a couple of great chances to go two up and you would have thought if we go two up that probably would have been the game yeah absolutely I thought listen I thought we did well I thought we started well we were on the front foot early on pinned them in um, you know most of most of uh, the, the things that went against us were of our own doing which has been a, a theme you know I mean getting caught on a counter attack uh, from maybe a sloppy ball in the middle third or giving it away cheaply and not being locked out behind the football um, you know gave them a couple of opportunities but as you say I mean it was a you know a, a, a second phase corner uh, you know Woody whipped it in uh, and we kept it alive and he whipped another great ball in and Mickey Patrasi was on hand to finish um, and as you say then we had a couple of chances where he just uh, if you can get your noses two, two ahead it's going to it's a long trawl back for anyone then um, but again the, 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 the quality of the two goals we conceded is scandalous uh, you know but again that's a theme, it's something that we've been saying, um, you know, switching off from our job on a, on a short corner, everybody knows what they're doing, they know who should be out there and who should be dealing with it and they weren't. Um, and, and then for a ball to go under a wall and or slightly through it and under it again is, is <laughs> it's horrific, you know, that we've, we've got, that's in a big wall, what you call a big wall territory, it's a four man wall, so you've got four giants in it and they need to stand and take the football into the body. And they didn't, uh, and it ended up costing us again. Well, those two goals cost us three points, and that goal in particular won. And it's hard to bear because it's a game that certainly we were, um, you know, certainly well in for the whole 90 minutes. You know, we looked as though we, we carved and created out good opportunities, and we need to be. Listen, you, you replay any manager's interviews in most divisions, but this one in particular, it's about both boxes at the end of the day. And as I say, how you get it in there. Is up to you, but if you're not ruthless at both ends and dependable, then uh, then games go against you. Off to your former club this weekend, a trip to Solihull, a side that were on the back of a defeat Tuesday night. What kind of game are we expecting? I'm sure it's going to be a tough one. Well, absolutely. I mean, listen, they, they're they're a fantastic team. They've got an absolute mitt full of, of players um, of high quality. Um, you know, a, a lot of them are probably better than the level here. The, uh, you know, the, the National League level, is, there's no doubt about that. They've recruited heavily, heavily since, since I left. Um, there's, there's obviously a massive array of talent to select from. 
Um, and listen, their home form is is absolutely rock solid. They're, they're, they've been outstanding at home, which they have been now for three years. Really, it's been a it's been a, a fortress for people to go and try and get something out of. Um, so yeah, tough game. You know, they're gonna they're gonna play through the thirds. They're gonna split from the back and play out. And, and that ain't going to change, you know, if you press high and hard, they'll drop it in off the front and, and try and sprint past you um, and, and count it quickly through you. But, they'll, you know, they'll, listen, they've, got, they've got good players, they, can, they, they get the final third, they'll deliver with quality, you know, Cranston, it's difficult to read their team at times, it changes, but Cranston's been, a, you know, he's got a lovely left foot, Cox on the other side, they'll deliver early, depending on who plays up front, you know, huddling six foot six, six foot seven, Rooney came back into the team after a long uh, injury. So, listen, it could be anyone, Archer, I don't know where at the minute, whether he's injured, ball. Uh, you know, you can you can pick two teams almost. And uh, so we'll see what the team sheets are. But at the end of the day, we've got to set up how we're going to set up. And uh, listen, we've got, we've got to try and get a foothold in the game, like we've been doing a little bit, but now take it to the next stage uh, and get a result over the line. That was going to be my next question that let's put the Dover game to one side but in the vast vast majority of the matches it, it, we've been in the battle yeah. we've, been, we've been in the game yeah. not been brushed aside yeah. so if we can take the positives that we've mentioned from the Aldershot game from the Torquay game mm. where we've made chances yeah. we can certainly go there and cause them problems yeah we've got we've got um, we've got power in the side we've got some pace you know we've got some physicality um, you know we've got obviously with Baker Richardson coming in up front he, he gives us a Bit of all three of those things. Uh, Hooper, similarly. Uh, Mickey Petras, who's come in, uh, scored a couple. Obviously, uh, when he came on against Ultron um, the other week, he put a couple of great balls into the box as well in, in, the, you know, in his time on the pitch. So he's looked like he's got a bit of end product to him. You know, now he, he needs now, when we haven't got the ball, to start being nice and narrow and get tucked in and, and keep us nice and solid and, and break from a good solid base. But the bottom line is we've got to go there and work hard, work hard, try and get up against people, put people under pressure and uh, try and make it as difficult as we can. Uh, and you're quite right, we're in a position where obviously I speak to the boys and we, you know, we've got to pick the bones out of what we reflect on in terms of watching the, the video. But there's also been some positives um, and it's, it's hard sometimes to say that when the result goes against you, but you've got to pick that out and try and build on it. And I think from Torquay, where we were in the game till, till late on, uh, and as you rightly say, at Aldershot, where we were, we were more than a match, really. It was a, it was a pick em, a pick em fight. Um, there have been some, some better stuff coming out of it. So now, can we build on that again against a, you know, a, a very strong outfit uh, and, and try and get, get, get us up over the line? Saw that Matt Preston's been back out on the grass, and there seems to be obviously more bodies going back. The Zander's back to fitness. How important is it going to be that you've got a few more to choose from with the games coming thick and fast? It seems to be Saturday, Tuesday for a good six weeks now. Yeah, it will be. Um, well, yeah, I mean, Xander's been back amongst him for a wee while now, so he's, he's been on the bench and sort of fleeting appearances. Matt, has, to be fair, has been doing warm-ups, etc., but he's not been involved. Um, he's not been pushed onto that level yet from the, from the medical department where they can say, yeah, he can now get involved in possession or some shape or anything like that. So he's not, he's not there yet. Um, but other than the long term, Josh Walker, and again, he, he, he's been to, um, to St George's, came back, I was, you know, I was hopeful and led to believe that possibly he'd be joining in when he came back. He's still not ready, you know, now, you know, Josh gives you an option, a different type up there, a fox in the box, a type of goal scorer, a finisher, uh, you know, so it, it would be a blessing when he's available. Um, and then obviously we've got the long termers, so you know, they're, they're, they're out of the equation as we know, um, and being looked after. So uh, yeah, we, you know I've got I've got a squad, a size squad to pick from. Um, you know it's at the moment I, I, I'm sort of the last few games I've run with a certain shape and a certain personnel. Um, I don't want it. As I said to you before, the last game which didn't get played. Um, I'm not big on chopping and changing it. If I've got a, a team that's running and, and going well and, and producing good performances, then I'll, I'll, I'll leave it, you know. Um, but, you know, at the moment, because I've been scratching around, 
I've, I've let this 4-3-3 uh, and the personnel within it run uh, and try and get something settled and, uh, and bedded in a wee bit. So we'll, we'll see. Listen, we're, we're working today. Um, obviously, we're, we're frozen off again, but we've got the 4G available to us, which is good. And then we'll do another session tomorrow and, and, and go up there and, and see if we can get a result. Just lastly, it seems to be the cliche question at the moment, but if we can go and get something at Solihull and keep building on the positives, that will certainly, if we can jump off the bottom of the table, it gives us something to, to look up at and sort of gives a bit more belief against. <coughs> Absolutely. Listen, we, we, we've got to believe that. You know, I've got a group of lads here who've been getting kicked in the teeth week in, week out, but somewhere down the line, you go and man up, you know, and, and I sort of said to him, this is, this is, it's a man's world and, and you've got to be strong and we've got to believe that we can turn it round. I mean, you can, you can pick clubs out in different leagues, you know, look at Sheffield United, they're in there, they've been, you know, had, had that start that they've had and they're in there scrapping, the manager's got them motivated, they're having a go, you know, and I, you know, the couple of wins and the whole picture changes, you know, Jimmy Floyd's gone in at Burton, they've got a couple of results, all of a sudden, they find themselves back at the races and it's, it's well doable. Um, you know, we've just got to believe we can do that and, and hopefully add some quality to the group, which, you know, I keep saying and keep trying to do, uh, but they've got to be the right ones. And I, I don't want to keep bringing in loans. I'm not a big fan, of, you know, loans are important, but you don't want a mitt full of loans either. You want your own players and it's, it's a bad time to be doing your shopping because there's nothing out there really. Um, but I'd, I'd like, I really would like to, if we could, to bring a couple of bodies in to strengthen us as well. But, you know, that's, a, that's an ongoing thing.